Uh, now, what we did yesterday is we did an uh, experiment where we dropped uh, eggs in devices and they were in uh, what type of motion? Do you guys know? Free fall. Free fall. Uh, this is free fall. And uh, what we have is a videotape is we can check and see precisely. We had everyone take times, but we can see precisely to see how accurate our timing mechanisms, which is our hand and our stopwatches, is compared to the videotapes where we have frame by frame where something happens in real time. Uh, and what Mr. Boris is going to do, he'll explain to you, this is uh, a demonstration using free fall and uh, is there math involved in this? Yeah, there's math involved in this. All right. <laughs> well, what we're doing here is I have a strobe light here and it sets, it's set to go off at about 10 flashes a second. So if this strobe light's here, it ticks about 10 times every single second. So that means about every 0.1 seconds there's a flash. So what I did is I calculated how far a drop should fall in free fall after 0.1 seconds, after 0.2 seconds, after 0.3 seconds, and after 0.4 seconds, and I marked the positions on this meter stick here. So after 0.1 seconds, if you use the equations on the board there that you guys have been working with for free fall, you'll find that it falls 4.9 centimeters. After 0.2, it falls to 19.6. After 0.3, it falls to 44.1. And after 0.4, it falls to 78.4. So I'm going to set this here, and I've positioned if I could just, just for a second, in our book we use 10. He's using this. He's using accurate measures, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. I think we did talk about this. Our book uses 10, so we had 5, 20, uh, 40. What was it? Was it 44 in our book? You guys know? But our measurements in our book, uh, we had 80 over here, so I think that might have been 45. Uses yeah. the number 10 instead of using uh, 9.81. So this is a real calculations for gravity in this area, our book uses 10 because it's an easier number. So we had our uh, equations, d equals one half gt squared. Remember that? All right, this is what we use to determine where it's going to fall in a time zone. I just want to give them what they're Sounds good. Uh, Mr. Newton, do you want to hit that play on that computer to get some music going? Sure. Because this is always cooler with a little music. All right, please do not touch each other when the lights go out. <laughs> 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 So, awesome. I gotta get the rate of these drops to be just perfect. <laughs> you won't see it just yet. I'm, I'm trying to get it perfect. What's the strobe light for? You'll see. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> If I get it perfect, I can get them to freeze in space right at those arrows. Exactly. If they weren't right, if that stuff was just made up, then these flags wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have been able to put those flags in the exact perfect place that I put them in to freeze the milk drops at the right place. So there's some proof that these equations are real.